Oil Pipeline Energy Management. This is the first release of this lesson, but it's actually built on a previous lesson, which was Oil Pipeline Power Optimization. In this lesson, I wanted to get more across about rates and operating practices, so I actually collaborated with a, a energy manager, an oil pipeline energy manager, whose name was Stephen Elliott, to build this out in a lot more detail than power optimization and cover, in addition to sort of how to operate with as little power, how to maximize your savings from rates, real-time pricing, demand response, and those sorts of things. Here's a little clip from Oil Pipeline Energy Manage. Now let's take a look at centrifugal pump curve and let's dissect what's on it a little bit. We're going to spend quite a bit of time on this slide. So if we look over there in the red box, the vertical axis is head in feet or in PSI. Either one is fine. Down there, the horizontal axis, we have the rate, barrels per hour, gallons per minute, uh, meters cubed per hour, whatever it may be. Over here on the right hand side we have the efficiency. Down here below efficiency we have the brake horsepower and then finally we have the net positive section, suction head in feet. Could be in PSI as well. A lot of times we do it though in feet. So it's a triple pump curve and let's continue on talking about this curve now that we know what the axes are. So if we want to pump at that amount of pressure where the red arrow was, uh, is pointing, that's the amount of pressure we need to put in to pump at that rate, the purple arrow. Reading up the purple arrow then, we can read across to the efficiency curve. It tells us what the efficiency is at that particular um, rate and that particular pressure. And then we can also read over to what the brake horsepower. So a lot of interesting information here. Going to show you a couple more things. The minimum continuous stable flow. If we go too low in flow, the flow pattern through the pump gets messed up and is not effective. The best efficiency point in the end of the curve. So over there where the yellow line comes down, the minimum continuous stable flow. Here, the best efficiency point. And then we have the end of the curve. So you don't want to go off the end of the curve or go down below that minimum continuous stable flow. You want to stay between those points to extend the pump life and to improve efficiency. Better yet, stay within 75 to 120 percent of that best efficiency point because if you get less and less efficient, you will be able to uh, not be as effective at converting the hydraulic into hydraulic horsepower, the electrical horsepower that comes into the pump, and that's what you want to do. So centrifugal pump curve, a lot of good information on the centrifugal pump curve. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to know more about this or any other lesson, please contact me at tom at pipelineknowledge.com or call me at the phone number. If you like this little clip, please click on the subscribe button and you'll get notified when more tutorials and more clips are posted on YouTube.